Hebrews 11, 33 to 37. By faith, these people overthrew king kingdoms, ruled with justice, and received what God had promised them. They shut the mouth of lions, quenched the flames of fire, and escaped death by the, the edge of the sword. Their weakness was turned into strength. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to D and Z TV, the place where we have legit information that is meant to empower you, meant to um, entertain you and inform you of what's happening in the royal family. Now, no, we all know that Naomi has been fighting a lot of battles. But right about now, today, we are here to tell you how Naomi stopped the mouth of the lions. Ha! Naomi stopped the mouth of the lions. Now, from what we just said, he said, by faith, these people overthrew kingdoms, ruled with justice, and received what God had promised them. They shut the mouths of lions. Naomi used Hebrews 11.33 to shut down the mouth of lions. You see, people have been coming from different areas, different le levels, trying to, 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 to make sure that they bring Naomi down. But she has been able to remain fervent and strong. The New Testament picture of this is that there are things that God will protect you from. He will sometimes keep evil away and will shut the mouth of those who are there to hurt you. The king in this amazing Daniel uh, uh, book, Rescue Story, was overjoyed. You see, God himself alone will protect Naomi. God has been protecting Naomi and he will continue to protect, him, protect Naomi. It does not matter how they fight. They might come from different, different ways. But God will send his angel. His angel that will shut down the lion's mouth so that they could not hurt Naomi. For she has been found innocent in his sight and has not wronged anybody. See, Naomi did not wrong anybody. Rather, now people wrong her. She came with a genuine intention just to come and enjoy the, 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 the largesse of the palace. She just came as any other person who a man approached. She did not approach the man. The man approached her and said, okay, I want to marry you. But right now, now things did not work the way they expected again. But instead of people to align, what did they now do? They now started ganging up, fighting her. People from right, left, center. You know, circle performers put their heads in a lion's mouth to amuse an audience. When you put yourself in a dangerous situation, you're putting your head in the lion's mouth. You know, Naomi, when she stepped foot in the only of a first palace, from the first time she entered that palace, she knew that a lion was going to be eminent. But guess what? With the power that is being bestowed on her, she fought her way. She fought her way until she became victorious. I do not know what you're passing through, but I think it is high time for us all to know that when we once we use Naomi as a case study, once we use Naomi as a reference point, doors will always open in our life. The symbol could go on to represent the house of Judah throughout history up to the present time. The lion could symbolize Judah's power, bravery, success in battle, and leadership for him and his descendants. You know, lion stands for strength. Lion stands for power. Lion stands for tribulation. They will come in different ways. But guess what? Just as Naomi was able to remain strong, we too shall also remain strong. And as we remain strong, victory is sure. Because last, last, anyhow you want Siam, Naomi won this battle. All right, my people, thank you so much for coming and we really appreciate you. I want to say a special thank you. And as you continue to share, as you continue to comment, as you continue to like, we shall bring you more good stories that will make your ministry move to the permanent side. All right. Thank you. And bye-bye.